You spend so much time yes. just making sure the camera is right, everything is right, and then this uh, speedrunners just blast through it. Strategically. Yeah. What? See, there he was what? pushed. Yep. That's, the the That's my still... fault. I didn't okay. fix that bug. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah, this is where the difficulty spikes up. Yeah. Or is it? Apparently, mm -hmm. you just run along the ropes. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Easy as can be. Oh, that's. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was perfect. Just the way we Sheesh. planned it. I mean, I remember Whoa. seeing our QA team do some crazy stuff, but this is. This is insane. My name's Chad Hamlet. I was the, the lead character artist on the Crash uh, remasters. Uh, this is Dustin King. I was the art director on the Crash remaster. Curtis Orr, I was the game plan animation lead. Leo Zuniga, I was the lead level designer for Insane Trilogy. So yeah, Insanity Beach. I remember joining this project and you guys had this benchmark going. Yeah, we started... We shouldn't have started with Insanity Beach, but we did. We <laughs> wanted to start with uh, the thing that everyone remembered. And it was, uh, it was what we pitched with. I had to load this a thousand times to test every little animation for Crash, so it was just perpetually loading this level over and over again. Yeah, I think the uh, the the crab was I think the first character model that was done for the project. I think the animation team had a lot of fun with that end sequence. Yeah. So the box end sequence was really the first thing that we animated that was different from the original game that we posted to Sony and say, like, is it cool that we add a little bit of our own personality to it as long as it fits in character? And once they were positive about that, like, that's really when this project was super fun for me because then it was not just about recreating the original game, which still would have been fun, but it let us put our, our spin on it, which yeah. really made it probably one of the coolest games that I've, I've developed for. Uh, yeah, the skunks, they had a a little skull on their back. That was uh, pretty cool. To me, it's always interesting seeing people just blast through the content when, like, yep. <laughs> you spend so much time yes. just making sure the camera is right, everything is right, and then this uh, speedrunners just blast through it. Yep. And, you know, it's nice. It's a different set of... Uh, players uh and definitely we kept them in mind when we made yeah. decisions like do we replicate certain things that they used to do in the old games and it was a fair discussion to have yeah and he's already exploited a, a couple of the things that were, were intentionally yeah. hard-coded back in yeah uh, he's done some some wall running yeah our, our qa team was a very good representation of the speed running community like <laughs> We had some intense discussions just to make sure that we did our best. I do not miss test play in this level. Yep. <laughs> this is a tough one. <clears throat> How many characters did we end up doing uh, on this chat? Uh, it was over 200. Jeez. Yeah. So I, I have not watched this speed run all the way through, but this, this is like rolling a 300 to bowling, right? Like if you, if you get all the way to the end and you hiccup, is it you start over? Yep, you missed the pin. <laughs> oh. He's got this. Yep. So, kind of back to the boxes thing. One thing I'm appreciating is it every aspect of speed run is taken into account. So, if you miss a lot of boxes, that animation plays longer. So it behooves you to collect as many boxes as you can in a speedy manner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just so that it doesn't play any longer than it has to. Like that's kind of a fascinating aspect yep. of when every second counts. Yeah, here's here's the classic crash Indiana Jones tie in. Yep. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's executing these jumps perfectly. I know. Imagine how many times that he must have done this. Is uh, this the level they played in the Uncharted cutscene? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Finish this one in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, my hands are sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he's flying through these. I remember uh, one of our designers like superimposed the video of the old game over this yep. just to kind of see the timing and matching it up and all that stuff and yep. it was really a helpful tool to make sure that we were as close to, as possible what do you remember leo what our times were towards the end of the project what the uh, qa team i mean they were they were finishing these levels within a range of a few seconds of the yes. the actual yeah like the top 10 like the leaderboard was like Within a second and a half. Like the, of the originals. Uh, yeah. Well. You get the hit at the same time either way. Like it's not any slower. So I had to jump later. That's pretty much all it is. If I just jumped like a few frames later, I would have a 41 right now. <laughs> but, so. Papu papu. That's incredible. There's Real fractions of a second there. Yep. Yep. Real oh, here comes uh, the first boss fight. Animated Pumper. this guy. It was yep. a lot of fun. All the belly jiggle was very important. <laughs> yeah, I think our boss team really had a blast with this project. You know, they yep. had uh, really a, a variety of bosses with different gameplay types and all that stuff, right? Like, <laughs> Although, when you see a speedrunner do all, it all that, of that easily, work. <laughs> that was yeah. the first boss, but you're like, <laughs> all of that work. <laughs> oh, man. I would love to know how many attempts this is. Oh, there's a bit of skirting the yeah. geometry of the world, I guess. Yeah, to get through. Imagine collecting the masks are very important to the speedrun. Oh, wow. I, like, I couldn't see through the explosion to oh. know where to go. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, one of the things that I remember vividly in this project was when uh, it's like, you know, getting old Naughty Dog people to really, like, check it out and give us their feedback and perspective. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. They were super warm to us and a lot of positive, so it was, it was awesome hearing that kind of stuff from them. Yep. Yeah. Past few days, every once in a while, I'll like sit here and try to think what your name even was before yeah. it was like had their old name stuck in my head. But I think th weird. this one was one of the more challenging ones. The more <laughs> I played with, apparently jumping is faster than running. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how many times the fur got tweaked on this this boar. All the fur kept getting tweaked over and over. Trying to figure out what the notification was because it was so loud, and then it started text to speech, and I was like, "Oh, that's what it was." Boing. What? Where did it go? Come on. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, sorry for the pause. Mm -hmm. It's mesmerizing to watch. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> the he's in a rhythm oh. right now. I, I wish it. we had tracked the number of hours we spent playing the originals during game development. 
like constantly double triple checking like even this guy like we got to make sure that he's at the right side yep. just like the original you know yeah, yeah. that's I didn't have to go through that. Oh, well, like we said, had to. Just loading the first level and jumping. <laughs> we had to get all the ping ponging and, and, and all the sequences because yeah. there are patterns that people expect. Yep. You know, and like we, it was excruciating. Anybody yeah. know how many hints we had to come up with for that loading screen? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, just... I mean, even if I don't get registered, we're still going, obviously. I just won't be able to go to like the event spaces or whatever, which will be kind of shitty, but. Uh, was most of the timing of a lot of the obstacles made so that you could hit it in stride? How many of them were originally timed where there was a pause needed in a sense so you didn't have to keep forward momentum? You know what I mean? Like when I, I watch this guy going, it seems like a lot of the things are timed to kind of allow you to run directly at them. Mm-hmm. And it's never that way when I'm playing the game, but... right. <laughs> Yeah, no, like it's it really depends on the the level and the hazard types. Yeah, like sometimes like full on running and just making sure that you timed your jump so that the apex clears the, you know, the hazard volume. That was impressive. Yeah. Oh, I well, jinxed see. him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, this this is one of the hardest sequences yeah. in this level. What? What? Uh, in, um... Oh my God. If only that wasn't built in. <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, that's kind of what I'm most excited to see is if there is a I, an exploit or something that we miss. Because otherwise, then this is a totally, like a seriously legit speed run. Yeah. Because you just can't afford to make a mistake. Yeah. I mean, you can see almost every little hitch that oh my god uh, it's oh, yeah. painful I could definitely not do that not even close I think I saw you retweet that somebody did they were like having a fucking I wonder if we'll ever see the game over screen because I worked on that <laughs> <laughs> towards the end of the project one of your proudest moments <laughs> yeah wow. especially on the three games we had a different presentation to it you know it was wait they're having runs and stuff at it wait what the fuck <laughs> the whole level select sequence was really nice I thought it was yeah, just really cool it's gonna be its own but see like one of the things that we had to make a choice is um, on hazards something that's more modern is hazards kind of giving you a, a hint of a state change we call it you know a tell right mm-hmm. like if they kind of wiggle sometimes on the animation before they snap before they drop before, out yeah, the, and yeah. you know we felt like that would you know at times we would say like what would naughty dog do nowadays right or what would what was their intention sometimes they just did things because of their old technology and mm-hmm. you know we had to kind of take advantage and think about the players especially because we wanted crash to be presentable for a new audience yeah well, so even some of the older technology, like they had for the for the animation, because uh, they were doing vertex uh, animation. So Crash had a lot of facial expressions. Mm-hmm. Uh, like back then, it's a it's a different type of technology. We don't do that anymore. So we yeah, had to, I, we I, had to I, make a pretty advanced rig. To, to I read articles it. where um, back in the days they thought that Sony had shared some secret technology with Naughty Dog in order for them to like really push to push it to the limits yeah. they were just really First all this, like, they knew what they were doing and really passionate about <laughs> their game yeah it was uh, fun to recreate the feel of the original animations but still try to just embellish them a little bit more didn't want to yeah. change it because yeah. they're pretty iconic but in the same sense yeah. And jump and everything. Oh, his arm should be a little lower during the, the jump. Or, mm-hmm. you know, like really would look at the two side by side, but still want it to, to feel updated. Yep. I heard nothing. Thanks. Yeah, especially with, you know, animation design. Like we're constantly like talking about frames, you know, like in terms of the feel. 
for the jump and the handling and all that stuff. Like it's, it's gotta like feel that. right. Yeah. I'd like it to not be much more of a yeah. <laughs> yeah, can. Everyone's up there. <laughs> I missed how he won. It seems like he just stood in place a couple times, <laughs> yep. exploded a box <laughs> in his face, and the boss went down. And that was it. I don't even remember him falling off the waterfall. Yeah, so far he's shaving time. If you look up there with the uh, the point negative point zero two. Oh, from the previous record. Six point nine. He's actually yeah. shaving uh, time. Oh, I'm just now <laughs> noticing the that we actually do have the, the the timer to see how he's doing against the world record. Wow. Oh, there's the bats. I started watching Naruto like last year. I'm just like a little ways into Shippuden right now. Oh, it, it, it that's that short hop. You, you <laughs> like the confidence to run forward yeah. and short hop it as opposed to the, a, a larger jump. I fucking love original Naruto though. I just haven't like gotten super into Shippuden yet. This is crazy chameleons <laughs> or lizards, whatever they were. They were not very clear yeah. based off of the, the first geometry. Yeah, some of the stuff was so low res, like we couldn't tell things, and there was no concept art to go off of. Don't like. Did he actually purposely get bounce off the flame in yep. order to? All right. Yeah, just enough, <laughs> I guess, where it wouldn't hurt him. It's a calculated risk. That was impressive. <laughs> oh, so this is interesting. I was just about to ask Leo if uh, speedrunners are going <clears> to <throat> avoid these bonus stages or, or try yeah. to crank through them for some extra pickup. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you don't need the extra lives if you got to finish everything mm -hmm. in one. Well, yeah. sometimes it's about the mask. Is it? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Like they prep themselves. <laughs> like a lot of times, sometimes they prep themselves three levels before the okay. where they're going to execute on their strategy. You know, to like either get through uh, a loophole or you know, strategery. Yeah. What? See there, he was pushed. What? Yep. <laughs> that's definitely that's my still... fault. I didn't okay. fix that bug. <laughs> okay. Uh, blame it on me. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, you now you've given them something to exploit. So well done. <laughs> uh, that's funny. There's like a website for it. It's always felt very Yeah, see, uh, like he's trying to nice. get the boxes. There's a website specifically for like listing filler for animes. I forget what it's called. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. That's a solid hint, though. Missing boxes? <laughs> uh, that's got to be <laughs> tough to come up with enough things on the screen. It, it's interesting, too. I mean, um, I, I believe it's uh, with these three games... Speedrunners, it, it gets easier as it goes along. Uh, Crash One was definitively the the hardest mm -hmm. out of the three games. So, like, as as he's progressing or any speedrunners progressing, I'm assuming as they progress, they're they're looking forward to the fact that this gets easier over time. Yeah. yeah. I also realized grabbing this mask like later is better than like grabbing it instantly. See, it's cool that he actually is talking about the the timing of when to. Use the mass versus just the yeah. That's, that's, cool. Yeah, that's neat. <laughs> it's almost like it's not hard. <laughs> that's crazy. That's amazing. This, yeah, a game of centimeters. Yeah. Oh, didn't we have a, a button if you, ma you held it 
the boxes would go faster. He used it there. I don't know if yeah. he was using it all the time, was he? Oh, he's been using Has it. Has it? Okay, I would yeah. hope so. <laughs> you can even hear the clicks. <laughs> Good times. Oh, yeah, this is where the difficulty spikes up. Yeah. Or is it? Apparently, mm-hmm. you just run along the ropes. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Easy as can be. Oh, well, trust me, initially, we didn't have that feature, and we actually spent a little bit of time so that people can replicate some of the speedrunning techniques from the original games. Yeah. And that oh, that man. really requires a lot of skill. Like, <laughs> it's I, that's something that even I can't, I can't do. Yeah, I think there was only a couple people in, in yeah, one, like of our, them, one of our, our QA, QA guys who was a speedrunner yep. uh, with, with the original games. He uh, he was the only one to ever successfully execute this over and over like this. Wow. Yep. Holy shit, I should have died there. I extended it too far. It slowed me down, but I didn't die somehow. Wow. Wow. <laughs> just all we can say is wow. <laughs> it's like the best feeling. It's he's about 10 seconds under. Jeez. Just slow down after that. It just feels bad. The floating heads, I don't remember uh, uh, Half Life 2 with the. Out in space, I don't know, for whatever reason, it gives me that same kind of vibe. But at the end of uh, Half Life, no, oh, yeah, yeah. The, the floating heads talking in space. I just see them oh, yeah. floating in space, and I just keep hearing that the that voice. Yeah, yeah. Space. Yeah, just before this project, we had a chance to bring uh, Crash to the Skylanders franchise, and yeah. um, we actually made sure that we had a section in the Skylanders level for Crash. That was a chase sequence, and kids really, really loved it. Some random guy I've never met before just randomly dropped 200 bucks while I was just playing Tetris with, like, four viewers. That was a good, good stream. And I've never heard from that guy again or seen him anywhere. <laughs> Remember, it was a... It was a big deal for us to be able to put a more scared expression on his face. Right? Oh, yeah. Since you could finally see yep. all the effort that we put into <laughs> the face and the ability to have expressions in a game that is generally played with your back to the screen. But yeah, well, it's a, it's a, I think it's pretty successful. He looks terrified. <laughs> And brow, awesome. brow sweat. Off. There's also a challenge of a lot of some of the distortion that his body goes through, through teleporters and stuff, doing that with a skinned, rigged character as mm-hmm. opposed to just however they you know, animated the verts in the original yep. one. It was sometimes really tough getting parody of some of that stuff. Yep. Like the spin attack and all that stuff is actually like multiple uh, crashes to make him look the way he does. Didn't even didn't even wait. That's, that's <laughs> so you're saying that was an accident or was that built in? The original game could do that. Like, totally, it's just one of those guys that like donates thousands to like female Twitch streamers and stuff just because he has the money and that's what he does. So I think I just got lucky, and to him like 200 was nothing. And he was entertained by my Tetris or something. <laughs> like it was a just a very lucky. That's a fake out thing where you. See the first one, and you immediately think to jump to it, being had to jump to the second one. Yep. That's the longest I've seen him pause. It seems so far. Yeah. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Let's see if he's gonna make up some time. I'm pretty sure, like, like based on his following list, and then like some of the streams had like leaderboards like you know sometimes i'm glad that you know we i knew we wanted to do our best with like this project and, was, like, on some of them and, stuff. and we wanted of course to sell as many copies yep but if you know if i had a time machine if i would say hey listen you're gonna sell tens of million of copies 
I don't know what that would have done to my development of this game. <laughs> that would have froze me. Like, are you serious? Like, what's the uh, the challenge of always working with somebody else's property that was beloved and wanting to do it justice, wanting to put your own spin on it, so mm -hmm. it really also felt like your own, um, yeah, and that yeah. you weren't just copying somebody. So it was again one of my most favorite development experiences in my life so far. Yeah. So, Everybody, yeah, I think a lot of people felt that way. Yeah, to try to remain faithful to it and also like sort of bring a fresh look to like you know today's technology and stuff was. It was a really fun challenge. <laughs> what? <laughs> Brazen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I remember Whoa. seeing our QA team do some crazy stuff, but this is, this is insane. All right, I'm not saving my time here, which sucks. But... All right, now chat moved too fast, so I can't read everything anymore. It's fine. You, you can do it. <laughs> oh, slippage. Dude, what am I doing? So many boxes. All the boxes. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> and Qualcomm. That was one of my favorite uh, bosses to make. Uh, Romy animated him, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that had some nice fun. Sunset, sucked, uh, <laughs> the posing on him was just great. Yeah, but, <laughs> I still crack up at these animations. Yep. <laughs> All these years later. Yep. Yeah. What? What the? Speed run control adjustment. What was that? I don't know what he did. Oh my god, please give me good RNG. Let me gold this. Wait, are you is this an exploit? This yeah. is an exploit. Oh, you're not supposed to be there. Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah. Oh. What is he doing? Throw, throw it. He's... But I, what did he do on the control settings to do, do that? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm going to have to rewatch this and frame by frame it. Yes. <laughs> In fact, he rode off on the minecart to exit the level. Uh, uh, well, okay. Actually learned to freeze fuck if you just don't jump So so much for my theory of no exploits. <laughs> like that wasn't legitimate gameplay. Game, right? That was a bit of so that's, no a, that's a new one, right? That was not one I was familiar with. Yeah. Oh man, I love this level. Yeah. yeah. This, was awesome. this was one of our uh big reveal demo levels, right? Yeah. Was it this one? Yeah. For uh, yes, yeah, actually, PSX. yes, this one was. Uh, it was a nice contrast to what we had been showing at that point, which was, I think, Insanity yeah. Beach or oh, yeah. Yeah. some of the jungle levels. And this, this level really stood out. Yeah, we. And again, com you know, just compared to the original, there's just so much more detail in the environment, mm -hmm. and um, we definitely had conversations to make sure that the playable space was clear. Yeah. And straightforward. Just the amount of depth and yeah. saturation, it just uh, feels so good. Oh my goodness. Blind jump. Wow. 
Oh, that's... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. That was perfect. Just the way we Sheesh. planned it. Holy cow. I haven't fucked up heavy, like, at all this past week. It's, it feels so good. I always get the strat, and I always get the bounce pad, basically. It's... Cutscene. No, forget it. Uh, skip the cutscene. <laughs> stop Papu this run, by the way. This is the first top-down level, right? Yep. Yeah. This game has so many different camera modes. It was it was insane just to make sure every single camera mode Did you had say proper insane? transitions. Just... Insane, yeah. Uh -huh. So you guys were doing the animations. Did you have to check all these different camera angles? No, because like sure we did not stuff? have, you know, run this level. So, yeah, yeah. everything had to just work. So. Uh, I don't know if you had to check his feet or whatever to be no. able to see him. So, yeah, we didn't we didn't adjust it for this level in that yeah. sense. I didn't think of the, the camera works. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so close. He, he almost got the gold on that one. Yep. He sounds nervous. This is the the most nervous I've. <laughs> Who's working in this factory? How would you possibly get around anywhere? You know, use the little floating things. And, uh, it's an OSHA violation. That's a jump. Man, the diagonal jumps are like perfect. Oh my goodness. It's like an Escher game level. I know. It's, it's, it's uh, almost Escher. a bit motion sickness there. Yeah, see? A... He missed four boxes. That was going to cost him... Oh, there's a... Oh. Wow. I'm sad I didn't get the fucking Made of Fortress cycle this run. Or, and I lost like 9 to 10 on Sunset. <laughs> so this is a good-ass run. I don't care. Wait, was he purposely letting it slide like that just to make it more dangerous? <laughs> I don't know. That's, maybe is he just, showboating or was that actually just necessary? Space to jump I think he was nudging. Yeah. Okay, yeah. ready. Yeah. I mean, it's it's really impressive. You like, I couldn't do this. Oh, I'm no, not a no. speedrunner. I I wouldn't be able to. Uh, not freak out when you get this far along and you're having this good of a run. Yeah, yeah, I would tank every time. Yeah. The, the patience required. <laughs> trying to remember. I think this is one of the first levels we did an internal speedrun challenge midway through development. Where the develop, dev, like, devs and QA were mm -hmm. trying to challenge each other. I was never involved in any of those. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't waste my time competing with those guys. Yeah. I had a hard enough time just loading up the stuff in the game to oh. see it. <laughs> That's a nice little side jump. Yeah, this is light years ahead of what I was able to do in the game. It's like the hazards don't even exist. I know. Well, like, none of them. Like, like, and it feels so random, like he's just jumping nonstop. But yeah. I'm sure if you <laughs> don't jump immediately when he is, like, he will hit something. Yeah. So Very nice. Yeah. He just claimed another gold. Nice. Oh, nice. Now, what is the gold? What do you mean by the gold? The golds are, like, the the, the best time rating gotcha. that you can get for the, for the run. So, pinstripe. It's a range, but it's a really good range. What was on the his ink block or his little desk protector? What was the image? No, I have. I can gold. Do we remember? Anybody remember what we put on the little page there on the floor? I mean, it looks, it looks like, like it's it looks just like a drawing shooting. of. Pinstripe shooting crash, like almost like it's a plan. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's his master plan. 
Pinstripe's master plan to capture. <laughs> oh, what? Capture the bandicoot. New strats. Was that the longest boss fight? New strats. I think you're asking about uh, a longer one. But even then, he still was able to wow. just stand underneath the, the machine gun and avoid bullets. So. Yeah, and he, he literally just admitted he, he found it a few days ago. Oh, yeah. That's neat. Here we go. Yep. Damn it. Rip one crate, dude. Runs over. Well, when you do it like that, it just doesn't make it seem nearly as challenging. <laughs> I don't think I was aware that you could stand on the ropes. Yep. And it's not easy. Make, he makes it look like it. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to get off here. Just fuck that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently it is not easy. Uh, it is amazing. I, I have watched uh, speedruns of people doing it the you know other way, and that's also insane. The whole using the shells to is I don't know. I don't know how to, like, Again, a level of patience I'm not <laughs> capable. of. Oh, this is this uh, Stormy Ascent's sister level? Yeah, yeah the nerf of using the bounce of the bird is I mean it was always developed that way but <laughs> people still use the term pixel precision even though we're talking about polygons <laughs> yeah, right? yeah still appropriate I guess there's pixels in the textures <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man oh what what oh, shit. <laughs> let's go it is it oh. Do you screw up, or is he going to somehow land? What is this? Oh, he's he's losing his time? Start over. <laughs> That's uh, interesting. What's happening? Now, it looked like a shortcut, but at this point, it's probably not a shortcut anymore. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's doing something behind the scenes. Like I believe it's still a shortcut. Yeah. It's just like the lights out level where you can't see anything, but blindly directing yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, what? That was magic. I assume that wasn't from the original games either. Was he navigating through the world behind uh, the sc that's... screen blindly? What I'm assuming. Okay. He, obviously, he finished it. But. Yeah. You know, half of these, I know. I'm, I can understand what's going on. Yeah. But this one, that I have one, no idea. Yeah. <laughs> How do you have to screw up so badly to get launched through the level and then go, can I do this again? And then can I exploit this? Is It's pretty cool. It's good to turn right for two seconds, jump. Yeah, because he's talking about the two seconds saved. By doing that? Well, I'm not specific, you know, what particular thing he's talking about right now, but it, it literally is down to every two seconds saved is a win. It's giant rats. Oh, oh wow! Like let go of jump, or else the turtle or the rat would have fallen, and I would have been jumping too high. <laughs> that would have been a meme and a half. 
the uh, fidelity of the you know the jump button having a little bit of flexibility on high jump, low jump. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. pretty neat to see them kind of master that as much as he has. Yeah. The analog aspect of it. Right? Yeah. Was that on the original finesse PlayStation? Yeah. It had an analog. Yeah, the button. Like it's like Mario. Oh, okay. Right. Like the long, the longer you hold okay, it. Okay, I guess so. I just. It's been a long time. That does happen. It's gonna be close again. I don't want to risk it. It makes these like first rotating platforms awkward, and I don't like it. I don't want to risk it right now. The two crates. I like how they line up when you just get here. It's like a straight diagonal. Go, go. Yeah. yeah, they're just. It's fun to to watch the speed run and have the confidence to jump when it's like not safe. Oh, it is now. Yeah, it's like a leap of faith. Yeah. Let's see if he exploits this in some way. No. Okay. Oh. Speeder. Fully commit to it. Mm. Go too far right and die. So whatever. Lose like two seconds here, then I didn't go for any of my box optimizing. <laughs> I don't want to risk it right now. Should be okay. How are we building? The background, um, like, is, is there a full, is it fully enclosed when it comes to the surrounding walls, or is it just enough so you have something to see off in the distance? Like, how much are we encasing those levels? Um, it's, it's not a fully enclosed level. It's actually an outdoor level in the, in the editor. Yeah, I wanted another mask there, so I did damage abuse across that last fire. 100 oh just try. yeah typically we we make sure that whatever we have in the level it's something the player will see so it's like you know a hollywood stage right? mm-hmm. like it's a lot of magic in the background that you don't really see but you think it's there yeah. and to be honest some of it is leads to bugs every now and then <laughs> and shortcuts But oh. it is those things that excite the speedrunning communities. Yeah. Know. Or I'm going to die again. One or the other is about to happen. Okay. Tw- minus 12? That's pretty good. Yep. All right. So close. <laughs> yeah. This is super impressive. This is a fun boss fight to yeah. animate for. Yeah. Those blobs. I'm just happy we got the pouring oh, effect working. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was. <laughs> no. He's. I don't know how much. Tear left. Now. What did he miss? I'm only going to save like seven now. So. Might have been just like the slightest of window when he could have attacked. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. Fuck. At the same time, I fucked up the easier part. Mm. And oh, all right. God. I'm not going to save enough time. <laughs> that is neat to see. Everyone. Interesting. Oh. I couldn't tell if he was yeah, like, didn't on a even collision trigger box the... in the back or something yeah. and just couldn't well, fall. Yeah, so and, yeah it was interesting. Lab. Yeah, he wasn't able to execute what he was trying to. Yeah, either, so, so that was still a mistake compared to what he wanted to exploit. Wait, Correct. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't want to have to go for this. 
I mean, I'm going for it. I don't, I'm not Strategy. Forty-two-zero-one. It's not happening. This is not a fun level to play. Um, no. Either we're dying or we're getting it. Like that seemed like he spun oh, too early. Oh, okay. This hope. This hope. This hope. This hope. <laughs> Yep. Okay, just avoid him. Just jump around him. <laughs> Lab assistance. Oh, the double spin. Wow. How many uh, variations of the lab guy did we end up with? Oh, there's probably like 30 or yeah. more at least. Yeah. Yeah, that turned out to be a oh big chunk of our time making the characters was uh, those lab assistants. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Fuck. Wow. Dude, yeah, that's a... I only have half a second. Half a second? Oh, oh. Pretty yeah. impressive. Just save 0.6 at least, 19.6. Wow. Fuck. It's like watching so a close. sporting event that you already know the ending is going to be successful, but when the moment happens, <laughs> you still... <laughs> oh, yeah, he did it! <laughs> Jumping way out there. If I died, I'm like, sorry. Like, sorry, super sorry. Mm. I want this to be... If this is a 42 flat, I'm just going to cry, though. So aside from cutscenes, this is the first time you like if if you just watched the speed run, you would never know who this guy was. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. With, with, not that there was a story per se, no, but well, let's, let's some, crash through in here. Some aspect of story, but yeah. yeah. Here's your villain. Come on. Well, I don't know. If I start at the timer super right, like if it's that close, I'll check it down to the frames to see if it's actually oh, recording. More. Obviously, but hopefully it's not that close to where I have to do that. It's gonna be close. Good. Yo, I pause. I'm not sure what he's resetting on his gun, but <laughs> oh, cortex. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh my wow. goodness. Let's fucking go. Wow. Holy shit. What the fuck? Let's go. Wow. So he. Oh my god. He shaved it by 30. Tenthos. Tenthos. Barely, seconds. dude. <laughs> fucking barely. And so you, uh, looking back on that, he's had. Maybe less than five or six levels where he had a slight hiccup, yep. and uh, you know. Oh, look at that! Those so. awesome people. Who did that? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That's impressive. But to, yeah. to beat it by by that little, like, how quickly do you just immediately try to get <laughs> knowing that you had those few spots that you you know? But yeah, and then next time you just maybe mess up. And that's I mean the speed run. Just the patience of this is impressive. Yeah, really impressive. I mean, I would love to see him execute a run like a flawless, where he gets had everything those little he wants. Hitches that he was complaining about, you know, if yeah. he cleaned those up. I mm. mean, it, it would be so impressive. Yep. He could execute. There you are. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was that was pretty amazing to watch. Yeah. Just uh... <laughs> one of the sad aspects of developing some of these games, you don't always. Enjoy the full process. You, a lot of times you just tunnel vision on the little section that yeah. you're working on. And yeah. So it is fun to see somebody uh, play through it. Yeah. yeah, those moments when you see people outside of your team, outside yeah. of the studio, just, just appreciate it. And, yeah. you know, it, it really helps. Mm -hmm. It helps yeah. a lot. Yeah. It was a amazing project to work on. And the yeah. just the community positivity about it and everything yeah. was been super rewarding. So. Oh, the, the community is an amazing community. I yeah. mean, yeah. Uh, they've been really good to us. Yeah. Yeah. It was a sigh of relief to kind of just 
see the reaction like almost immediate like people just loved it, it oh yeah the, yeah I mean, yeah, it's, it was like, yeah. a, you know, yeah. being a little bit you're nervous. Almost, yeah, you're yeah, almost you're always <laughs> clenched just assuming the yeah. worst. And so when it's, it was generally super positive, yeah, it's always yeah. Yeah. like a and wonderful yeah. surprise. Yeah. I mean, we would go to the community, you know, the websites, the Reddits and all that stuff. It was so hard to not chime in, but just, you know, we can't. Yeah. 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 I, I but it was always the good easier. to see them talk about the franchise, talk about their expectations, you know, and then just listen, just check it out and listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely beyond my expectations, and I've been doing this for a long time, <laughs> many projects, and this is one of my favorites for sure. Yeah. So uh, it was a blast working with you guys. Yeah, yeah. and still working with you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm still working. Oh god, I gotta go back to my desk oh, yeah. and what's, stare at you. What's happening? What are you talking? You got something to announce? Like yeah, it's great. It's still working with you guys. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're very glad that the community yeah. really enjoyed this. So. Yeah, I think Thank this you. is uh, one of those uh, once in a lifetime opportunities to be able to work on a project like this, and uh, it, for the most part, went pretty smooth. It was very consistent. There didn't seem to be like any big uh, like hiccups, at least for the characters. Uh, it went yeah. really, really well. Yeah, and the thing that it's Crash has a history with us, right? Yeah. Like we've done the GBA games, yep. yeah. we've done a lot of content for Crash, and then when they told us like, hey, there's this opportunity. Plenty of people stepped up and were like, you know what? I'm a fan. I want to do it. I want to take the challenge because it was a challenge. Mm -hmm. yep. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you. If you've made it this far, <laughs> thanks for still listening to I'm glad we're us. staying through the yeah. credits. Talk over words. <laughs> yep. Reminiscing. It's, just, it's nice to see it a couple years later because yeah, this brings back good memories.